In the last episode, we leave Warm Springs and head to Chapin Bay for some quiet family time. Austin throws out a fishing line and we have fun. On our way to Petersburg, we see lots of whales and fishing vessels. We end up in South Harbor in Petersburg and Austin starts flying his drone. Due to the amazing fishing season this year, we find out that we might not have a stall for winter. So, Austin starts searching for a place for us to spend the winter. In this episode, we travel to Arizona to secure a winter home. And on our way back to the airport, we stop and see family. Austin does a lot more drone videos, and we prep the boat for family coming and end up having to do a bimini door repair. We're not sure what it is, but it's cool. Hi, boys. Okay, Quinn, we are going to N11. This is what it looks like at SeaTac Airport. Yeah, it's Milo, oh my goodness, no. Can't believe we just bought a truck and a trailer. It's gonna take some fixing, but it looks like it will do pretty good. Come on, guys! Here they come. <laughs> Food and pet pads. Okay, so on Thursday, Austin found this RV and truck deal that he didn't think we could pass up on in Tucson, Arizona. On Friday, we flew from Petersburg, where it was raining crazy, and got to Tucson, Arizona. Uh, Monday, we purchased the truck and RV, and uh, it took one day to get everything situated on it. And then uh, today is Wednesday, and we just drove 14 hours from Tucson, Arizona to Bakersfield, California. Uh, we made it to the RV park. We had to stop several times because it's over 100 degrees outside. It's really, really hot out there. <laughs> so things were overheating a little and we wanted to make sure when we went over the passes it was okay. So anyways, this RV has not been cleaned yet. <laughs> so thankfully we all know how to work very hard, but uh, this is what it looks like. Just a quick overview of it. It's actually a pretty decent unit. Um, it's our first time buying a used RV and truck combo. So we're not used to it being 
in disrepair because we've always bought brand new. So <laughs> anyways, we will be fixing this up, but it's a nice little bunkhouse. It's got decent uh, space. Um, everything looks really nice, uh, space-wise anyway. And Elise has got two bunks and then she's also got uh, some cabinet space. So hopefully that will work for her because she's starting 10th grade this year. So anyways, um, we'll be cleaning this up. We're actually going as quickly as possible because we have a flight back to Petersburg on Monday morning at 8 a.m. So we need to get this back up to Washington by Sunday at the latest. And so um, we are going super, super fast. Uh, so we did a 14 hour day today. Tomorrow I think it's gonna be like an eight hour day. Then hopefully we get a couple four hour days and then uh, I think our last day will be seven or eight hours. So we will be tired. But then we'll fly back to Alaska and we'll have like three days to prepare for our next guest. So anyway, this will be our project for this winter. So we made it the first day was Arizona to Bakersfield, California. So Tucson, Arizona to Bakersfield, California. And now uh, day two, we've made it from Bakersfield, California to uh, Redding, no, Red Bluff, Red Bluff, California. We're at Dur Durango RV Resort, which is now, as of last month, a KOA. But it's a nice place here. We like it. Anyways, nice big pool, nice comfortable pull-ins. Look at that, all cement. No wonder. Oh, yum. They have massacred a bit. And there's a couple of them. Let's see, let's see your plate. Let's see your plate. Ooh. Or just more. That's all you want. The cook and doing the lava cake. We made it. We are so glad to be here and we're exhausted from the trip. We realize we need to do a little prep work 
to store the RV, so we push our flight out to get things wrapped up and rest before flying back to Petersburg. That's awesome. <laughs> In the next episode, more family flies in and we take them to new spots. We get to see La Conte Glacier and Hidden Falls, as well as some of our favorite stops on our way to Sitka.